Hi guys, it's Paula. Somehow, it's the end of October, so today I'm going to be doing my October favorites video. I have a lot of beauty products this month, which is weird. Not like I don't love a lot of beauty products, but usually I use the exact same things, so there's nothing worthy of putting in a favorites video. But this month, I found some really great things. So without further ado, let's jump into what I've been loving this October. First of all, in terms of beauty products, I've been really late on the liquid lipstick bandwagon. I've always liked them. I love how they look and they literally stay on forever and they're just super nice. I just didn't own that many. I owned maybe two and that was it. But this month I really tried to branch out and order some more and I'm really happy I did because I found some go-to lip products that are absolutely amazing. The first one is the one I'm wearing right now and this is very recent for me. If you've watched my Sephora Play unboxing you know that this came in that box and this is the Smashbox oh the name isn't on it and I forget what it is. It'll definitely be linked uh, down below. I just can't remember the product name, but it was in my Sephora play box. I remember the color name is driver's seat and it's just their matte liquid lipsticks. Absolutely amazing. This color is amazing. The formulation is amazing. The applicator is so nice. It has a sort of pointed tip. So when you're actually applying it, you can kind of outline your lips like you would with lip liner before you fill them in. And it just makes such a precise line. I don't own a lot of lip liners, so stuff like this is really nice. I know these are kind of pricey if you buy full-size ones. I want to say they're like $24 each, but for this little baby one, um, I got it for 10 bucks as a part of the Sephora Play Box. So I'm really happy with this. I don't know how long it'll last me, but I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. And the second liquid lipstick I've been loving is by ColourPop. The, wow, the writing is already off of this packaging. I guess I really just love this. I want to say this is the ultra satin lip colors, not the matte ones. I do have a couple of the matte ones, but the satin ones are just a lot more comfortable. They look the same, but they're just more comfortable. And this is in the shade Dopey. It looks kind of pinky magenta when I'm holding it up, but on your lips, it's more like a, a nude. I don't want to say it's entirely nude because it's not. I really don't know how to describe it. It just looks so, so nice on the lips. I will also link this down below so you can kind of see what color it's supposed to look like on your lips on the website. And these are only $6 on ColourPop's website. I was super impressed. I ordered three from the website at a time and I think I might order more just because they're so cheap and they're nice and I just really like them. And did I mention that these honestly stay on forever. I wear them to class, I wear them to work, I do maybe one touch up in the middle of my day and that's it. And when I come home, it's still there. I don't know how they do it. My other two beauty products are kind of more scent related. One of them is a lotion from Bath & Body Works. This is the Snowflakes and Cashmere Body Lotion. Yeah, I did, I did buy a Christmas scent already at the end of October, but I don't really care. This is the Ultra Shea Body Creams. I like these a lot more than the regular body lotions. They are just so moisturizing and so nice and they always smell so good. And the scent like stays on you for a while, which is nice. This is just a really nice, warm scent. I think it will work well for winter when winter comes, but as of now it's fall and I'm still using it now. But I just love the way it smells and the packaging is so cute. There's like glittery little Christmas trees and stuff, but it, the glitter doesn't come off. It's just a nice, nice packaging. I would say though, don't go buy these when they're full price. They're originally $13, which is kind of ridiculous, but I had a coupon to get these for $5. So you probably have the same coupon as I did because they were distributing them in the stores. So go get one of these. You can pick any scent you want. I would recommend this one. And then the other scent I've been loving is a perfume and it's actually from Scentbird. This is um, sort of like a sample perfume subscription service. I'm gonna be making another video on Scentbird, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm not gonna explain it all right now. But the scent that I picked out is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. Oh my god, it smells so good. I love all of the Juicy Couture perfumes, and I don't think I've ever tried this Viva La Juicy one, but it is absolutely amazing. I've been wearing it every day. 
I sometimes go overboard, I think. I don't wear perfumes that often because I feel like it just overwhelms people when you walk into the room, but I don't care if I overwhelm people with this because it smells so delicious. So this is really great. Um, like I said, Scentbird video coming soon. You can see how I got this cute little packaging sample size of this perfume. That's it for beauty products. Usually at this point in the video, I go into some TV and music favorites. I haven't been watching any TV this month. The only show I've been consistently watching is It's Always Sunny, and I talked about that last month, so I'm not gonna blab your ears off by talking about that again. But I will move on to music. The first musician I have been loving is Michael Buble. Oh my gosh, I just, I have such a deep love for him. It's kind of wild. I think I mostly like listening to his music because it reminds me of Christmas because his Christmas album is probably the best one that's out there in the entire world. And then his normal music just has that same kind of jazzy, happy feeling. It just makes me happy. It makes me think of Christmas without listening to Christmas music. And he did release a new album this month. I want to say it's called Nobody But Me. And the title track on that is very good. I haven't listened to the whole album, but the first like five or six songs, just very, very prime. Very much enjoying it. So if you're in kind of a jazzy mood, you just want to like sit and study or just calm down or feel kind of classy with your day, I would put on some Michael Buble. I've been loving doing that this month. My other two favorite songs this month are kind of more mainstream, poppy kind of stuff. The first one is Let Me Love You by DJ Snake and Justin Bieber. I'm sure we've all heard this song, but I am obsessed with it. I think it is so catchy. I do like Justin Bieber now. I used to not. I used to I absolutely despise him, but now I like his music. So it's just a super catchy tune. I'm sure you've heard it, but I'll link it down below anyways. I love that song. And then my other favorite is Church on Sunday by Grace. I had never heard of Grace, and then I think she showed up on my Eek New Music Friday? I don't know. I don't know. But I started listening to Church on Sunday, and it is so good. I put that song on repeat. I listen to it everywhere I go. It is is so good. Go listen to that song if you don't know it. It will become one of your favorites, guaranteed, and I that's all I gotta say, really. And that's it for my October favorites. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment telling me what you loved in October, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you see when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!